Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video and happy new year. It's coupons with Abby. I hope you guys are having a terrific day. So it has been a little while since we've talked. I took a little hiatus for the holidays, which honestly was much well deserved. I've been kind of all over the place this last month. December was a busy, busy month for me. So when Christmas, the week of Christmas, I said, let's just hold off deals until the new year for my own sanity. Um, we had my son's birthday party, of course, Christmas. And then unfortunately, my mom actually tested positive for COVID and had been admitted to the hospital for COVID and double pneumonia. So she was there for about four days. She came home last weekend and she's doing much much better she can finally breathe on her own again she can start to get her taste back a little bit but of course it's still a road to recovery she cannot go to work she can't go back to work just yet and um she obviously can't come over at our house at the moment because of the, the, the pneumonia is still sticking around a little bit so um we're just you know praying and hoping for a speedy recovery it was definitely a weird Christmas not having her at our house and then my husband's grandmother also had been admitted to the hospital she actually had a little bit of a blockage which ended up being passed but she was there for about two days so then his mom and grandma couldn't come over it was just chaotic honestly the weirdest Christmas ever but I'm thankful I got to spend it with my husband and my son I would say this is like his first real Christmas I mean he was my son was born the week before Christmas last year. So he couldn't really, you know, obviously understand it. And he was in that little newborn phase where he slept through everything. This year, I felt like he was a little more hands-on where he could open the gifts a little bit and he can appreciate the toys. So it was really fun. We had a good time, so. Anywho, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and are ready to kickstart the new year with some more savings. We're at CVS today. We are gonna do a couple of deals, but let's talk about CVS, y'all. I mentioned in my last CVS haul that both of my CVS cards and accounts are dead. And a couple of people said, well, you know, maybe it'll change within the next week. Maybe it's just, you know, we're not getting CRTs because of the holiday. That's never really happened before where we don't get CRTs because of a holiday. So I knew something was up and I wasn't sure how to go about it yet. I was going to wait and see how it played out on both accounts. And lo and behold, this week... I got one new CRT on both of my accounts, mine and my husband's. So, it was last week or the week before I went ahead and made a new account. My husband actually had gotten a new phone number so I could make a new account with his new number. And I have several email addresses. So I made a new account, signed up for CarePass. Now when I signed up online, they did not charge me for the first month. So I have a free $10 to work with today. If you sign up in store for CarePass, it is the same situation where they don't charge you for the first month, which is a $5 fee every month to get $10 back. So essentially you'd be getting $5 for free out of the 10, you know? But if you sign up in store, it's free for the first month. And then online when I signed up about a week and a half ago, two weeks, it was free for me. So I have that. I have not shopped with that card yet, but somehow I've gotten at least four or five new CRTs. Aside from the instant coupons that everybody gets this week, I have a good bit of CRTs to start out with, more than I was expecting. I have like an oral care one, I have some cosmetics and a hair care. I have not shopped with it yet, so it doesn't know my purchase history to generate the CRTs. So I thought that was really amazing. So if you are struggling with dead cards, I'd probably consider starting a new card because I have a couple of good CRTs to work with on that account. And mind you, I have not shopped with it yet. So we are going to be shopping with that card today. And I am shopping with my two cards that are dead. Only because there's a couple of freebies and money makers that I can grab without the CRTs. So we're using three cards today. A little crazy, but hey, it, it's something. We're getting the savings. So... I hope you guys stick along with me. And this is definitely pretty newbie friendly since we are starting out with a new card. We will have some subtotals, obviously, but we're trying to build up some CRTs and get CVS to be great again, you know? So we're going to go ahead and quit rambling. We're going to go into the store, talk about some deals, 
But first, if you are new and just found my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. Please be sure to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload. And if you enjoy the video and CVS couponing, please give it a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the deals at CVS this week. First deal we're looking at is on the You Buy Kotex pads, liners, and tampons. This week they are two for eight dollars, and when you buy two, you'll get back a two dollar extra buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the liners. You can grab the liners or the pads for this scenario. We're gonna use a four off of two digital coupon as well as a four off two printable coupon from coupons.com. Those should glitch together, leaving us to pay absolutely nothing at the register. But then we'll get back a $2 extra buck, making an easy $2 moneymaker. So I'm definitely going to run this deal twice on two separate accounts. Another easy freebie that I'm also going to do twice on two separate accounts is on the L'Oreal L Vibe. So this week they're on sale two for eight and there is no extra buck promotion on them. But we have a three off two digital coupon as well as a three off two printable from coupons.com. Those should glitch. And then we have a two off two L'Oreal L Vive instant coupon that everybody should be receiving on their CVS accounts or at the red box this week, making both of them completely free. So the Revlon Cosmetics are buy two, get back a $5 extra buck this week, or you can buy three and get back a $7 extra buck. This is one of those tiered promotions that do not track. So you got to choose either or if you want to buy two or buy three. So we're going to do the same similar scenario for two separate accounts. I'll share with you guys my first scenario. So for one of my accounts, I'm going to grab three of the Kiss Balms. They are $5.79 each at my store. So three of them totals me $17.37. I have a $3 Cosmetic CRT. It was an instant coupon from last week that I held on to. A free Cosmetic CRT up to $5 value. And then a $4 Revlon Instant Coupon that everybody should be receiving this week on the app or at the Redbox. And then we have a $3 Revlon Lip Product Digital Coupon. It does say it excludes Kiss Balms, but it is attaching to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I wouldn't recommend trying your luck with the paper coupons because the paper coupons also exclude the Kiss Balm. And if your CVS cashiers are, you know, very good about reading your coupons fine print, I wouldn't try your luck. So that's why I'm only using one manufacturer coupon. So that should lead me to pay $2.37. I'll get back a $7 extra buck for buying three products, making it a $4.63 moneymaker. Now I'll also be grabbing three Revlon Kiss Balms for my new CVS account as well. So that'll be again, $17.37. I have a three off six cosmetic CRT, the $3 instant coupon from last week on cosmetics, the $4 Revlon instant coupon valid this week, and then the $3 Revlon lip product digital coupon, leaving me to pay a little bit of a higher out of pocket at $4.37, getting back a $7 extra buck, making that a $2.63 moneymaker. So overall, six kiss bombs, and they are some nice moneymakers today. So this is what I'm grabbing for my first transaction, which I will be doing this on my main card. Now my main card has no CRTs, it died on me. So I'm really not trying to use that card too much nowadays, but I'm repeating a lot of deals because they're money makers and they're gonna help me in the end with some deals that I actually really want. So this will be that transaction and then we will move on to our next card and then one more card after that. I hope I don't confuse y'all with this, but I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck today. Carrying on back to my new card, I'm gonna do the Colgate deal. This week, select Colgate is buy two, get back a $3 extra buck, and it is $3.99 each. So buying two totals me $7.98. We have a $2 digital coupon we can use, and then a two off five oral care CRT that I have on this account. So I'll pay $3.98. I'm gonna to submit to the coupons.com app for a $2 coupon reimbursement on the second Colgate I did not have a coupon attached to. And then I'll also get back my $3 extra buck, making both of them completely free and a 102 moneymaker. So I think the last deal I'm gonna do on my new CVS card is the spend 30, get back a $10 extra buck. Since my care pass didn't cost me anything this month, I have a free $10 to work with. So I'm gonna get a little bougie here and grab some laundry products. So I'm gonna grab one of the Drift. Ideally, I would have liked to grab one of the larger Tide Pods on sale $11.99. But that stinking $3 digital coupon still doesn't attach to the variety that says it's eligible for. 
So I'm going to grab one of the Drift at $11.99 and use a $3 digital coupon. I'm also going to grab one of the larger Tide liquids on sale, $11.99, and we have a $3 digital coupon that actually attaches to that. And lastly, I'm going to grab one of the Glucerna mini treats. So they are $5.99, also included in the Spend 30, and we have a $3 digital coupon. So all three products total me at $29.97, which is in the 98% of $30 to still earn my $10 extra buck. Out of pocket, I'll pay $20.97, but since I'm using my free $10 from my care pass, it would be $10.97 I pay out of pocket because I can't count that as a reward earned since it was just a free little one month gift. And then I'll get back a $10 extra buck making all three products just 97 cents. So my last deal of the day, and I swear the last card I'm using today is going to be my husband's card that actually has died as well, but he still had this buy one get one free Lysol coupon, so I want to go ahead and use it on the spend 30 since it's included. So we're going to go ahead and start a scenario for that. I'm grabbing two of these flat pack of Lysol wipes. They're buy one, get one free. And at my store, they're $8.29 each. I'm going to go ahead and use the buy one, get one free digital coupon. That'll take off $4.99. So the Snuggle and all products are on sale for $3.49 this week. And a part of the spend 30, get back a $10 extra buck. I have no coupons, so this is pretty much acting as a filler to get me to that threshold. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Snuggle product. So I also went ahead and grabbed one of the larger Tide liquids on sale $11.99 this week. And again, using a $3 digital coupon for that. And then another one of the Glucerna mini treats at $5.99. I did not clip that $3 digital coupon in time, but thank goodness I have a $3 printable coupon from being a part of the Glucerna email list. So all of these products right here should total me about $29.76, which is barely in that 98% of $30. So we have the buy one, get one free coupon for the Lysol, the $3 coupon for the Glucerna, $3 for the Tide, no coupon for the Snuggle. That should drop me down to $18.77 I'll pay out of pocket, and I'll get back a $10 extra buck. So that leaves all these products at a final cost of $8.77, or $1.75 a piece, which I think is phenomenal for laundry and Lysol products. So this is my last deal of the day. We're going to go ahead and check out with this, and then we'll meet back in the car to talk about how the transactions went, receipts, and final cost. All right, so we are back in the car from CVS, and everything went really well today. I do a apologize for the repetitiveness in a lot of my deals today but this is kind of how it is with me trying to build up my new card and then a lot of the deals were money makers so of course I wanted to run that several times to get the lowest out of pocket with you by Kotex the L'Oreal was just a nice freebie the Revlon was an incredible money maker so I mean it is what it is. I also did not mention in the beginning of the video, I am not working with any coupon inserts. I have not ordered my coupon inserts for this week. I obviously probably did not share, you know, the greatest amount of deals just because I don't have the inserts to work with and I'm not gonna grab a deal if I don't have a coupon for it, you know? That Colgate mouthwash is a pretty good deal because we have Ibotta rebates and so forth. We have some really good coupons that came out today. I just have not ordered any yet. I gotta get on it when I get home. So this was all digital and printables and a couple of CRTs. So I think we did really well. We're going to go ahead and get into the receipts and the final cost. All right. So I don't quite remember the order of the transactions at this point because it was four transactions, but I'm going to start showing receipts. So on this one, the U by Kotex, the L Vive, the Colgate, and the Revlon. I believe this was my new card. We have our $4 and $3 coupons. The $4 would be for the U by Kotex, $3 for the L Vive. Those digitals did glitch. I have my $3 digital for the Revlon lip the $2 digital for the Colgate, my $4 Revlon Instant Coupon, my 3 off 6 Cosmetics, my 3 off Cosmetics Instant Coupon from last week, the 2 off Any Hair Care. So I had a $2 off Any Hair Care and a 2 off 2 L'Oreal L-Vive. I don't know why the hair care attached to it because usually with CVS, the digitals and CRTs, like it, it's not how like Walgreens and Dollar General is where the lowest value comes off first. It seems to be the one that fits the item best comes off first. Either way, that's still the same amount of savings as the instant coupon for the L5, so it's okay. And then my 2 off 5 oral care. So I did roll a $10 extra buck. It lowered itself down to $8.35. Don't have a heart attack, but 
that's what it was. So my subtotal was zero and I paid the tax on a Flues gift card. And I did get back the $2 for the Ubuy Kotex, $3 for the Colgate, and $7 for the Revlon. Obviously it does not track because it is a tiered spend promotion. So that was that. And I will submit my receipt to the coupons.com app when I get home for the $2 reimbursement on the Colgate. This transaction, we have the U by Kotex, the L Vive, and the Revlon. Very repetitive, but same thing. My paper coupons for the L Vive and U by Kotex came off, as well as the digital's glitching. We have the um, Revlon Lip Digital Coupon. My free cosmetics item actually lowered itself down a lot lower than I thought. But usually that happens when you are pairing in manufacturer coupons and CRTs and then you try to throw in that free cosmetic CRT. They don't play nice together and you don't get the full value off. So that kind of stunk, but it's okay. And then we have the $4 Revlon CRT, the $3 Revlon CRT, and the 2 off 2 L'Oreal. Subtotal is $4.58. That and the tax I put on another Flues gift card. I got back $2 for the Ubuy Kotex. And again, not showing any tracking, but I did get back my $7 for the Revlon deal. This was the spend 30 on my husband's old card with the Snuggle, the Tide, the Lysol, and Glucernas. We have the $3 coupon for the Glucerna, the Lysol, buy one, get one free digital, the Tide digital coupon, and then I did roll $10.52 in extra bucks, leaving my subtotal $8.25. Again, I put that in the tax on another Flues gift card. And I did back my $10 in extra bucks. My store does follow the 98% rule. So 98% of 30, I believe, was about $29.40. So I was way over that. Well, I shouldn't say way over that, but a good amount over that. Right, and then the spend 30 on my newbie card is the Dreft, the Tide, and Glucerna. So the Glucerna Digital, the Tide Digital, and Dreft. I did use my $10 care pass, but since I did not pay anything for this first month, that was a free $10. So essentially, I would count that I paid $10.97. 12.10 after tax and used once again another Flues gift card and got back my $10 extra bucks. So <sighs> this was a very lengthy haul. Those are all the receipts, pretty lengthy, but it is what it is. I do want to note though that the Glucerna Digital, I went to look for it on my husband's account and clip it and it was gone. I clipped the Glucerna on my, um, did I do it on my new account? Yes, on my new account, I clipped that early this morning. By the time I went over to my husband's account to clip it, it was gone. So that may not be out there anymore. And then obviously the Lysol buy one, get one free is not out there anymore. It was just an old digital that clipped. Basically all the digitals that you think will, you know, are high value and you think will glitch, those will go fast. You need to clip them early, early Sunday morning or they'll just be gone by afternoon. What else was not available that I saw? Um, I think pretty much everything else was still up for grabs digital coupon wise. It was just those two were just not existent anymore. And let's talk about this. I figured, you know, new year, new CVS, that stupid Tide Pods digital still does not attach to any Tide Pods. It says it has to be 32 count or higher. I grab the 35 count every time and it doesn't attach when you scan in the app. I don't know why it does that. I really truly don't. It has been doing that for months and it aggravates me to no end. So then I always have to readjust and then grab either a Drift or a Tide Liquid. Sometimes I want the pods. So I don't know. I wish CVS would fix that because that's really frustrating. So anywho, I'm not going to complain. But our out of pocket, I'm going to go ahead and combine all four transactions together. So between subtotals and extra bucks rolled, we paid $42.15 today. In extra bucks received back between all four transactions and all three accounts was $41. I will submit to the coupons.com app when I get home for a $2 coupon reimbursement on the Colgate that I did not have a coupon for. So in total, everything would have cost $142.74. But today with three accounts and hardly any CRTs and a brand new account with nothing on it except a care pass, it was completely free and an 85 cent money maker. I am so happy that I was able to knock this out and have a free haul. I mean, obviously I'm never aiming to have a free haul and all cosmetics, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> but throwing in the Tide and like those Lysol wipes, I am perfectly fine paying just a little bit, but 
I'm really happy that it was all free and a little bit of a money maker. So that is it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully it wasn't too confusing with me using three accounts. Next week I probably will not be using three accounts just because it was stressful for me to try to keep up with it. But I wanted to roll some deals and get some money makers to pay for the Tide and the Drift and the things I really wanted. So, And hopefully I've, you know, made a couple of purchases today on my new account where I can start seeing some good CRTs rolling in within the next couple weeks. So let me know what you guys are doing about the CRT issue. Have you guys started a new card? Um, are you just going to wait it out? Hopefully it'll get resolved soon, but I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.